Hello everyone. Good evening. Today's video, I am going to talk about how the stata screen looks like. So when you open the stata, you can see a screen that looks like that. You can see the usual stata um, fatal bar across the top. So you can see there are three buttons. This is for if you want to minimize and then come back. And this is for if you want to uh, expand the stata screen into full Windows mode. And this is for if you want to close the stata. You can see immediately below the title bar on the left side, uh, the, this is called menu bar. So the menu items you can see, file, edit, data, graphics, statistics, user, window, and health. Data, graphics, and statistics are very specific to Stata because their names provide a good idea of what you want to find under them. If you want to click and hold uh, the cursor over any of these um, icons for a couple of seconds, you can see a brief description of every function appears. On the bottom, um, this is called command window. In the middle, this is called a result window. So you can um, expand and minimize your um, every window. For example, I want to expand the result window so I can um, just click here or just click here and hold for a second and then bring left or bring right. So you can see it's expanding and minimizing. Let me use an example uh, data set from Stata. So click File menu, go to Example data set, and click Example data sets installed with Stata. And in this case, I want to use auto.dta. So click Use and come back to the Stata screen. You can see the data just loaded um, system use auto.dta. So um, now you can see under review, uh, your used uh, this, this data set file name, system use auto.dta. Um, and whatever command you use in your command window, you can um, see it under the review under the command. So if you want to search uh, your used command, you can search by typing here, filter commands here. Um, in order to understand well, uh, let's run some commands. So I want to run um, describe and sum and regress price on uh, MPG. Uh, OIT and REV78. So now uh, it, under this review, we can see the used command. Same as um, on the 
right side under variables if you want to search a variable just uh, uh, type your just type your variable name um, uh, uh, into this box filter variables here. So I want to search for weight variable. So type weight, then you can see uh, the variable name weight and uh, the other variables are gone. So under this variable, um, Variables, if you click any of the variables, let's say I click uh, price, and under the properties, you can see the name of the variable, price, the label of the variable, price, what type of variable it is, int, format, uh, value label, notes. Under uh, data, you can see uh, the file name auto.dtm label 1978 automobile data notes um, and then how many variables and observations this data set have so in this case you can see there are 12 um, variables and 74 observations and then the size of this data set and the memory used for this data set. Um, the strata screen may be slightly different for a uh, different kind of ice data, but most of the icons and comma and windows are very similar to this uh, data. Um, I think this video might help you guys to understand what the state screen looks like. If you think uh, this video is helpful for you, please thumbs up or subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. Goodbye for now. I'll come up with another video very soon. Stay tuned.